Hi everyone and welcome to part 2 in our repair vehicle mini series. Uh, in the last part we set up our head up display and notification system to display text to say that we need a repair kit and then to tell us to actually repair the vehicle and get into the vehicle. So what we're doing now is we're going to add a step between that uh, where we have to repair the vehicle back to full health before we can get into it. So to do that we need to actually set some health on our vehicle. So I'm going to go into my vehicle's blueprint and add a new variable at the bottom here and we'll call this one repair status and this will be a float and the float will go between zero and one so zero means it is got no health and one means it's full back to health and you can use it again so I hit compile and on begin play up the top here we're going to set the repair status to be a random value so I'm going to go right repair status set and from the little green pin, we're going to go and get random, or say, not get, just do random float in range. And we're going to choose a range of 0 0.2 and a maximum of 0 0.4. Okay, so randomly choose a value between that. Hit compile. Next, we're going to go down and to our overlaps and determine whether or not and change the text to show how much health the vehicle has. So on where it says repair vehicle, we're going to change that to include the repair status. So for that, I need a format text. So right click in the empty space and just do format text. And that will now go up to your text to show for repair vehicle. And in here, we can say uh, how much health the, player, the, the vehicle has. So um, repair, um, no. Let's do um, repair vehicle, and then I'm going to open bracket, and then open curly bracket, and do R for repair, close curly bracket, and then put in a percentage, and then close curly bracket, no, not curly bracket, regular parentheses. So the curly bracket, when I hit enter, adds a parameter to your format text, meaning we can drag a value into there, and it will give us it as a value there. So, for example, if I go into my game now, you can see that in action. So, if I pick up my repair kit, and you can see it's got 0.343%. Now, that's not correct because 0.34 is the float version. We need to make that a percentage. And so, how to make something at a percent? Well, you go into the vehicle here, and the repair status here, we're going to change to a percentage. So, all we have to do there is multiply it. by 100. Once we've done that, we want to make sure that we don't have any uh, decimals end of it or you want to convert have a particular number of decimals on it. So from there, we're going to go convert, oh no, it's not convert, let's do to text. And we're going to plug that into the R there by first disconnecting the old one. Now with two text, what happens here when you do repair status times 100 makes it a percentage. But imagine if repair status is something like um, 0.343335567. It goes on and on and on. So what if you only want to show a certain amount of detail of that? Well, with two text, if you expand it open, you can see the various settings available to you to when you convert to text. And one of those settings is the maximum fractional digits. So it says three. So in here, we're going to change that to one. And I can now reclose that uh, advanced bit there. So hit compile and let's go and play the game. Requires a pair kit. And there you have 36% health. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is making it so that when we push the E key and hold the E key, we can't get into the vehicle until that repair, uh, that repair damage is back up to 100%. And that the... Uh, when we let go of the key, uh, the E key, it stops repairing the vehicle. And obviously updating the UI to show this. So let's go onto our vehicle here. And before we do the possession, so take control of car, before that happens, we need to make sure that we are um, checking how much health we have got on the vehicle. So before we do take control of car, we're going to disconnect that and just move that over here. And instead of 
binding it to take control of car we're we'll gonna do another custom event and we're we'll gonna do handle interact and we're gonna bind it to the event there so on the handle interact when we push the button we're going to tell it to check whether or not the repair status is one so get repair status which is get and we're gonna check if it's not greater than or equal to one and then put that into a branch if it is then we can take to take control of car so do take control of car if it isn't then we need to tell it to start repairing so let's make another custom event here do custom event start repair and we'll do it a set timer by event and we'll do a repair time of let's do uh, let's do 0 0.1 and let's do start repair connected up to the event and this will be looping and what it's going to do is after every tenth of a second it's going to add a value to our repair status so get repair status add a float and we're going to add a small value to it so we go 0 0.1 to it for example uh, 0 0.01 sorry 0 0.01 and then from there we'll set the repair status back plugging it back into start repair so that will start the repair so it won't end it yet so that means that if I go up to it and push E I have to go back into it there you go you can see it going up and up without me doing anything okay so first of all we need to make it so we can see the update of the text the whole entire time and then secondly we need to make it so that when I let go of the E key it stops repairing it so let's do the update text first of all so on back on the car after we do start repair we're going to do that notification we've got here so I'm just going to grab all this and copy it and put it back down here and hit compile so now that notification is going to be updating the whole entire time we are repairing there you go so that will keep on going. I'm not holding down E at the moment. It just carries on going. So we need to make it so it lets go of when I let go of E, it stops repair. So let's go back to the car first of all. We'll start there, and we just need a stop repair. So do a custom event for stop repair, and on stop repair, we're going to get this timer and tell it to stop. So to do that, we need to take the return value of the timer and promote it to a variable. And go repair timer and back on my stop repair function I'm going to grab that reference out and then clear and invalidate timer by handle and that's always to do on that um, if you want to stop the repair status from ever going above uh, one before you set it here we're going to clamp the float between zero and one like so hit compile so there's the stop repair but how about how do we actually call this well if we have a look at what we've got here my interact here um, is being handled by this handle interact uh, function now when I bound the event to interact I can also bind what I'm actually interacting and whether I'm letting go of the key or, or I am pushing the key so if I go to my player character Again, this is something I set up on the skill system series. So if you want to check that out, check that out. Uh, but on this player character here, we quite simply have got a event dispatcher called interact. And when we push the E key, we just call it. Now on the call interact, I'm going to add an input to this. So on the event dispatcher, click on new parameter for input. And we'll do is pressed. And what we're going to do is going to do that. A double call so one for pressed one for released and if it pressed we'll tick the box oh it didn't save the name hang on it's pressed I probably have to drag it back out again oh hang on you have to compile it first and then drag it out my bad 
Cool. There you go. So tick is pressed for on the pressed branch and released has it not pressed, obviously. And then back on my car, my bind event will no longer work. So it will come down to this new parameter here for handle interact. Um, I'm going to delete that and reboot back in. So event custom event and go handle interact. And you can see now the, oh, let's just retry rename that again. Handle interact. There we go. Uh, so the is press now is a, a parameter for this custom event. So I'm going to use that to do a branch to determine whether or not I've interacted or not interacted with the vehicle. So is pressed, true goes there. If it's false, it's set to stop repair. And compile. And I'll push play, pick up the repair kit, hold down E, let go of E, and you see it stops. Hold down E, and that goes on. 100%, which now I can get in the vehicle and control it. Now get out, get back in, like so. So the last thing we're going to do is we'll make it so that when the repair vehicle hits 100%, we we'll just have to tell it to do, change the notification text to say push E to enter car. So back on my car. Um, when we do the take control of car, we're going to do the set notification thing. So display notification, copy that. Uh, oh, let's do it actually over here. Need some space. Let's make some space. Okay. So on my branch where I've queried the skill and I'm displaying the repair vehicle percentage. I only want to do it this way if the repair status is less than one. So repair status get if it is less than or equal to uh, so just less than one. I'll go into a branch. And if it's true, it will do the normal display notification. If it's false, we'll do another display notification, which means that we have full repair status. And the text will show here, press E to drive. And plug that back into the event. So it does this little divert, okay? And we want that one to also show up down here. So it'll uh, display notification. We want to do a little check again here. So let's actually copy that all again. So copy this and branch and that display notification. All the stuff we just added, we're going to add to here as well. Plop that there. True will go to the original one. And then repair status. Ooh, the check there is going on there. And if I want, I can drag that from this node here to make it a bit neater. And there you go. So now, oh, I've got to plug that in. Yeah, that's it. And I've got another one problem here. There you go. So now I've added those targets in and I've added these different notification types. When I interact the car now, it'll count up. And when it hits 100%, it should change its text to say, push E to drive. There you go. And that's all there is to it.
and that'll do for our repair vehicle mini series. I know it's a bit convoluted, but there's lots of moving parts to it, but that's why I recommend checking out this skill system series, doing that first, and also doing the vehicle possession episode as well, and that will help you out with a lot of what you see here. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what I do, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can watch many videos before anyone else, as well as many other benefits as well. Big thank you to all my supporters over there and on YouTube members. It wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. And if you have any uh, suggestions for future content or any queries or questions about what you see here, leave a comment below. And if you want to check out those other videos, I'll put the links in the description as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And I'll see you all guys next time. Bye-bye.